everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on steampunk spells. And um, this is page one, page one of steampunk spells. So, ooh, I forgot my ruler, but I think I wrote everything down. So we've got a, a couple of different things uh, going on here. Um, this is going to be the belly band that goes right here, and it's really not a belly band. It's going to have two pockets inside of it, and so first thing I'm going to do is show you how to construct that. This was my mock-up because I wasn't sure how to do it. So you're going to start with a 5 by 8, 5 by 8, and excuse me, then you're going to find your center line, which I did not. This is off. Um, and then you're going to take two 1 by 7 strips, score them in half, and we're going to put them back to back like we did here. Then we're gonna fold over these two flaps and these two edge flaps are what is going to adhere to the seven by nine pocket page. So it's going to look like this when we're finished. So we're gonna find our center point and we're gonna mount these. Now I'm gonna do it with glue. I don't normally do that, but because these are gonna be pockets, I'm gonna mount them with glue. And you wanna cut your strips, miter the edges, and then make sure that these two flaps are going to lay down flat, which I didn't do, but I'm fairly certain that I cut it short enough that it's gonna be okay. Okay, that looks like about the midpoint. That's close enough. And these two are gonna lay down flat like that, okay? Now I'm gonna do this one. And these two uh, one by seven inch strips become the base of the pocket on both the left and right hand side. Okay, just like so. So I'm gonna hold that in place for a second. Okay, so I've got tape on these two, so we're gonna go ahead and install this one. But I liked having that to show you where we were headed. Now you need to find the center point of your double pocket and the center point of the page. And it turns out I don't have anything in here. I've been crafting in my uh, dining room and so I'm kind of sh shy of all my normal materials. So I know the center point is about here. Okay. And that's gonna go flush with the edge top and bottom. You're gonna to wanna to press that into place going up like this because those two um, pocket edges on the bottom, oops, I forgot, that's not right. We're gonna to have to, sorry, pull that up real quick. And I'm taking some paper with it, but that's all right. We'll fix it, we'll fix it. We need to glue this down. So this is what's going to keep your inserts from passing through to the other side. And then this goes down like so, okay? So press that down and then push from the bottom up. And there we go, now that's correct. Sorry about that. Little, little mistake. You can use tape or glue. Um, here I recommend the glue. Okay, now for each side, there's going to be a, an insert. It's going to be, oh, I forgot to tell you the scores. So this was five by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on either end. Both of these are one inch scored in half. Then you're gonna have two inserts, which are eight by six, eight by six. You're gonna score at the four inch line. So you have one for the left. And that should go in a little further. Getting stuck on something. It should go in and have a little space around it. <laughs> there it goes, like so. So you've got two of these eight by six scored at four an inch. And then the last thing is you're going to have two flaps. They're four and three quarters by seven, 
four and three quarters by seven, score a half inch on the four and three quarter inch side. These are going to be mounted flush with the left and right hand side. Okay, take my insert out. We're gonna do that one more time. There we go. And we should have uh, about a half inch gap between the two. So we're gonna need some magnets to hold this in place. You know what, I kind of, I think I want to move it closer to the edge. We can, and I think we should. I should have placed this side first. That is page one. And I don't know what it's getting stuck on, but I don't like it. There. It should have almost a half, a half inch clearance on either side if it's going all the way down. This one's all the way down. It was getting hung up a little bit on um, where the hinge is. So that's it. So we've got those two inserts. Something's not right here. Doesn't feel like it's lined up right. Let's try that one more time. Okay, that's right. Let's see. Okay, when we come back, we'll be ready to decorate that. So this is page one, page eight is gonna be essentially the same. So I'll share that with you when I get back. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and we're working on page one. We're gonna start decorating. So I've got my stuff laid out for the most part. So um, I'm going to have two inserts. These are gonna be bifold card inserts. The um, the measurement was already provided uh, earlier in um, the video. I've got two of these, one for each side. And these are uh, cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection pack. All right, so here we go. So here is the cover. And it looks like I set aside the second one. So we're gonna have balloons on both sides. This is probably, of the collection, my favorite um, sheet. It's just so beautiful. Here it is. Okay, 
Mm, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's not wide enough. That's the piece that was left over. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had this all laid out. There it is. Isn't it? Is it? Yes. Okay, so you can see that's how that balloon went together. So this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Or I said collection pack, but it's a DCE. Which, for those of you that don't know, a DCE is a deluxe collector's edition. And what that means is it is um, a re-release of an existing pattern. So the way graphic works is they have a collection release and that's when you get 12 by 12, 8 by 8, pattern solids and all the um, uh, supporting um, elements like chipboards, stickers and ephemera cards and die cuts. Um, when they do a re-release, a DCE, you get um, a 12 by 12 and an eight by eight and that's it so you don't get the chipboard and the um cut of parts you do get stickers though um so it's a somewhat limited pack in terms of design um and they kind of incorporate the major design elements from the first release and then on the flip sides you'll see some of what looks like a pattern or a solid so they're pretty easy to work with um you get 24 sheets in a pack instead of 16. So um, a DCE has 24 sheets, uh, both for the 8x8 and the 12x12. So you get a few more sheets, but no uh, patterns and solids. Okay, I love this pattern. Okay, I'm going to introduce the moons right here. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. Mm. And I can see I'm missing one of my tools. I was working in my... Um, dining room the other day and I think I left some things out there all right <clears throat> okay and then we're going to use this pattern for the flaps and the pocket <clears throat> I know it looks really busy, but once we put these inserts in, it, it flows together a lot better. talking to y'all. liners in. There we go. So that is page 
each one. Thanks, everybody. I'll be back soon with more.